Hey guys, this is Vishal. Today I am going to demo producing Avro messages on Kafka topic with the help of Spring Boot framework. I'll be using schema registry services provided by Confluent platform to deal with Avro schemas. Before we begin, if you think my videos are helping you learn Kafka, then please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And also share the videos with your friends and group. So let's get going. All right, so I have created this project named Spring Kafka Avro Producer Consumer. Okay, and this is the application Java. This is the main class. I have added two annotation at the Red Spring Boot application and one is to enable the Kafka services. Okay, now let's go to pom.xml. Okay, so this is a pom.xml. So checking out the dependencies what we have added. The first dependency is to support the Kafka that is a Spring Kafka coming from the Spring framework. Then we have the Spring Starter web in order to expose the REST services. Now, rest of the dependencies are related to Confluent and the Avro since we are going to produce the Avro messages on the Confluent platform. So the first one is for the Avro serializer. Now, when you are producing the Avro message, you need to serialize them in order to push into the topic. For that purpose, this Avro serializer, which is coming from the io.confluent group ID. Okay, then second dependencies from the same group ID is a Kafka schema registry client. Again, it is required since we are going to talk with the schema registry service. And the last one we have is the Avro specific to creating the Avro schemas.avsc files. For that purpose, we are using this org.apache.avro group ID dependency. Then in the build, I have added one more plugin in order to generate the Java classes out of that Avro schema. Okay, we will generate Then in the build, I have added one plugin called Avro Maven plugin, which is used to generate the Java classes out of Avro schemas. Okay, it is referring the source directory path from source main resources in my project and the output directory in source main Java. That means any Avro files or Avro schema present under this resources, it will use compile that Avro schema and generate the Java classes under source main Java. Okay. Talking about Avro schema within my project under source main resources, I have created one directory called avro.schemas and within it, there is one Avro schema file dot avsc file basically present with the name stock history. Okay. If I open this, this is nothing but my Avro schema. So this is how the Avro or dot avsc file look like. Okay. So the type of this avsc is record. The name of this Avro schema is a stock history. Namespace is nothing but the package where when the Java class creates what the package name it should reside in. That is the package name and fields are nothing but the attributes of that Java class when it generates. Okay. So basically it's nothing but the stock related Avro schema I have created and this I'm going to use to publish messages on the Kafka topic. So when I compile this project, this stock history file will compile together and generate the Java class out of it. All right. So if I just go to Maven and compile this project, I'll use this Maven clean install. Now the project is started compiling and it will build the project using Maven. Now the build is success. Now if you see here, there is a schema package is created and within it, there is a stock history Java class is created. Now this class is created out of that Avro schema. Okay. And if you see, come down here, these are the attributes that we mentioned here in the stock history, AVSC file, all are present over here, like trade ID, trade quantity, trade market, everything is present here. Now, when you're going to push the messages, you will use this Java file, which is generated out of that Avro schema. Now let's go to application YAML file and add this producer related properties. Okay. So I'll open this file application.yaml. 
Here I have created the initial structure of Spring Kafka producer properties and I've added the value for bootstrap server. So this is my IP address for my Confluent server and this is the port. Within producer, there are two properties. One is a key serializer, second is a value serializer. For key serializer, I'm again going to use string as a key. For that purpose, I'm adding string serializer. Now for value serializer, this time we are producing the Avro messages. So for that purpose, we need to mention Avro serializer. Okay, so there is a class present Avro serializer. Okay. Kafka Avro serializer. Okay, this class is present under Kafka Avro serializer. So this new dependency that we added in the pom.xml. Okay, so if I open this class, so this is the package name. I'll copy and add it here dot this is the class name Kafka Avro serializer all right this is the serializer now here we need to add properties to mention the schema registry server okay so here first we need to mention properties under here schema registry colon url okay here schema registry url so schema registry present under http colon to forward slash this ip address of my confluent server and the port is 8081 so this is the the default port for schema registry is 8081 and you need to mention the confluent host name whatever is it ip address or host name whatever you got you need to mention so this is the schema registry because we are going to produce the avro so schema registry is essential for us okay then we need to mention the topic name where we are going to produce the messages okay so i'm going to create a custom property over here avro colon topic colon name okay so there is one kafka topic which i have already created so i'm going to use over here so the kafka topic name is this spring dot boot dot stock dot history dot avro dot topic dot v1 Okay, so this is the topic which is I have already created. So I'm going to use this topic to push the messages. So this is about our producer related properties. Now next is to build the producer class. So here within my package under Kafka, there is a producer package name I have created. Here I'll create my Java class name Spring Avro Producer. Okay enter i will annotate this class with at the rate service okay so first thing we need to auto wire the kafka template okay so private kafka template here we need to mention the key and value okay so key is again string however value is stock history avro schema so you see there is a avro schema the second one is the model I created for the rest service, but the first one is the schema which we want to use. Okay, so I'll click on this. Okay, name of this is Kafka template. Okay, and again add the annotation at the rate auto wire. Okay, now create a method public void send. Okay, and here take stock history as a value stock history right now here we need to mention how to push the message okay so kafka template dot send okay i'm going to use topic key and data right okay so topic so first we need to mention the topic here okay i'll mention it later key is going to i'm going to use stock history dot get trade id so trade id is the attribute which i'm going to treat this as a key okay then stock history as a value now add semicolon here it's giving me some error saying that your string your key is string but you're providing integer 
so we need to convert that into string so here i'll say string dot value of and this value this trade id i mentioned within this bracket now this is right okay kafka dot kafka template dot signed now here we need to mention the topic now we have created a property for a topic right in here this avro topic name so i'll create one variable over here string topic name and i'll add not colon it's a semicolon and i'll add at the rate value annotation dollar here avro dot topic dot name right and i will refer this string topic name variable here right here we want to add listenable future okay so listenable future within it send result of type string and stock history okay and the future object okay now we will add a callback on the future object so future dot add callback new listenable future callback right here on failure we will say system dot out dot println saying message fail to produce and here on success we will say system dot out dot println avro message successfully produce okay avro message successfully produce okay so this is about our send method now let's create a rest controller okay here the controller package is created i'll create the class here spring avro rest controller okay we will annotate this class with at the rate rest controller then i will add one method public void send stock history okay then this is a method now we will add the mapping at the rate post mapping okay and here value okay with value tag saying send stock history and here i'll add at the rate request body to take that stock history request parameter and i'm going to take in stock history model so this is the model class i have created present under this model package so i'm here i'm taking all the parameters under this stock history model java class okay and i'll name this as a model now here once i get this model value filled from the input parameters i will transfer all the values from this model to the stock history schema okay so for that purpose i will first create stock history schema object okay so stock history here then stock history new builder dot build so there is a builder class already present under the stock history class which i'm going to use okay then now we just have to set the values stock history dot set stock name we are taking the value from model so that is model okay then stock history dot set trade type model dot get trade type stock history dot set price model dot get price stock history dot set amount model dot get amount then stock history dot set trade id okay now trade id is something i'm going to generate here randomly okay so i will use new 
random okay of limit thousand dot next integer okay so it will always get the random value for trade id which i'm going to use at the key then stock history dot set trade market again we'll take this value from model then what left stock dot trade quantity and again that will take from here then stock history dot i think everything we have covered right so after this this stock history avro object is ready and we want to push this to this producer class that is spring avro producer we want to call this send method okay for that purpose i need to auto wire this spring avro producer in my controller okay so i will auto wire here spring avro producer okay now here include this package and add the rate auto buy now from here i can use this variable and call its method stock history and i will pass this avro schema right this controller is done now let's go ahead and try to test this producer part all right so i have started three services of confluent platform one is kafka another is a zookeeper and the third one is a schema registry the schema registry service is required since we are going to produce the avro messages we are going to talk with the schema and the avsc avro file hence for that purpose we require the schema registry rest of the services like connect control center or kafka rest ksql server is not required for us we are only required to produce avro messages using kafka zookeeper and schema registry okay so i have started the application now let's go to postman and try to call this send stock history okay so i'll go to postman here i have already created this request send stock history and i'm passing this json object with all the parameters like trade quantity trade market stock name etc okay now when i click on this send button it will call that request now if i go back to service and in the logs you see the avro message is successfully produced that means we are able to push the avro message on to that kafka topic now let's try one more time with the different values let's say trade quantity of 500 okay and here stock name let's say something else and here i'm going to buy them right some different amount right and if i again send this one you see avro message is successfully produced that means two avro message we produce right so this way we can build a spring boot application to connect to the confluent platform in order to produce the avro messages thank you for watching